Hey guys and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be showing you my Rex Raptor deck build that I've been putting together over the last couple days. Been testing out different things in the PvP arena and this is going to be a deck that utilizes the Dinosaur Kingdom ability which is going to allow you to put Jurassic World out there on the field when you start and that's going to boost your dinosaur monsters by 300 attack and 300 defense. The main thing that all rex raptor decks should probably have are three crawling dragon number twos as well as three two-headed king rex uh, these guys are going to be able to get up to that 1900 attack uh, with the jurassic world field card which can be very overwhelming and powerful early on in a duel and really what you're trying to do with the rex raptor deck is overwhelm your opponent early and often to try to just overpower them not a very complicated deck, and as a result, um, you know, when you're doing auto duel in Duel World, this deck has quite a bit of success. It seems like that when the computer is auto dueling, sometimes it has difficulty, you know, when you have things like ritual monsters or special summons or things like that. But this deck, something that you're going to have a lot of success with if you're trying to rack up a bunch of wins in Duel World and have a lot of success with that auto duel feature. So. Main goal here, getting those three Crawling Dragon number twos, three Two-Headed King Rex. I also have an Element Saurus, another dinosaur monster, not quite up to the same level of attack as the uh, previously mentioned dinosaur four-star monsters, but going to get up to 1,800 with that field effect. And then just to work my way through some of the other monsters, I have two uh, seven-star monsters, so you need those two sacrifices to tribute summon i love barrel dragon great effect on him uh, you get a 50 50 chance of removing a card from your opponent's um, attack area which can be highly effective give you the option opportunity to potentially get two monsters down on the same turn or get a monster down and then do a direct attack on life points and then i'm also bringing sangha of the thunder a powerful monster that works well uh, for instance, if you're going against someone like Mako Tsunami, he's got that Umi field effect, so since this guy's a Thunder Monster, he's going to be benefited by uh, that particular field effect. And to have a better shot of getting these guys out on the field, I bring the Bubonic Vermin, whose effect works well with trying to get higher level monsters out there, as well as some Stray Lambs, and Stray Lambs also can work well um, if you're just trying to buy some time and you need some cannon fodder out there on the field for the time being. The only other monsters that I'm running currently in this deck are going to be Yomi Ship. I really love the effect of this card. Honestly, if I had another Yomi Ship, I'd probably put two in this deck just because of how powerful its effect can be. And I also bring along a Sphere Karibo. His effect is when an opponent declares an attack on you, you can change it from uh, offense to defense position. And when you do that, you put this guy over into the graveyard. I'm not really utilizing the full capabilities of a Sphere Kribo with this deck, however, because I'm not using any Ritual Summons, but still a card that can be a big game changer, especially if your opponent, the attack of its monster is a lot higher than its defense. If you force it to switch over into defense position, you might get that opportunity to break through and send it over to the graveyard. Now, to move on to the spell and trap cards, Basically what you want to do is have the opportunity to power up some of your really strong 4-star monsters. So I bring the Black Pendant. Um, you can bring other cards like Reinforcements or things such as that. Or you can even bring more you know, power-up attack spell cards if you want. I just have one here. And then also Shooting Star Bow to either get that final attack on a life points. That could potentially win you the duel or reduce the attack of an opponent's monster. So that you can perhaps get the edge on it and... Out, battle it, send back over to the graveyard. I always run a D spell in case I want to get rid of some continuous uh, field spell, like those um, mask cards that allow make it so you can't attack, or um, a field of, uh, effect card that you might want to get rid of. I'm also running a wasteland, which isn't quite as good as Jurassic World because it only increases your attack and defense by 200 points but still if your opponent knocks off Jurassic Field it's nice to have a backup plan. Um, I'm running two Missisures, very effective card. Um, it can just be a big game changer and 
you know, if you have things like Mirror Wall or, you know, other really powerful Spell or Trap cards, you can utilize those in your decks. Uh, I don't have every card in the game, so I gotta play with what I have. And then I also bring two Trap Jammers, and the reason that I do that is because this deck focuses a lot on declaring attacks on your opponent, and one of the major drawbacks to having a strategy like that is your opponent might have, you know, trap cards set for you that are going to ruin your day and make it so that you're unable to declare an attack, or if you do declare an attack, have some hidden surprise for you that you might not want. When bringing a trap jammer, it gives you the option to get rid of uh, that particular trap card that they play during um, battle phase, so that can be a big game changer as well. I'm going to make another video where I'm doing some online duels here just to do some commentary, but this really isn't the um, most confusing deck by any means. It's pretty straightforward, and basically you're just trying to get really powerful monsters out there early and often to overwhelm your opposition. So this is pretty much it for the video. Uh, if you want more of these deck builder videos, you can head on over to my main channel. I have a deck builder playlist that has all of these particular videos that I've made. And if you want more of this content in the future, you can click that subscribe button and any thumbs up are greatly appreciated. Really help me out. You can throw some comments down in the uh, comment section. If you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions, I always appreciate looking at those and reading a lot of the nice comments that I get. So thanks guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.